Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, could you answer a few questions for the batch for us? Absolutely. It does feel a bit like a work interview, though, I must say. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. No, it's good. Uh, <laughs> could you tell us your best memory with the batch? The best memory with the batch? Now, if I think of more recent events, it'd probably be at the top of the Pidorangula. I thought that was quite an exciting moment, seeing everyone triumph and get to the top. Oh, yes. There were looks of excitement, looks of exhaustion, trepidation. And it was great to see the teachers up there celebrating with the students. But probably for me, actually, one of my favourite moments was just generally every morning when I got to come and nag at all of you and say, get, in, get, get to your class places, go and do register. I always apologise for that, and I think you knew about the right time to go, because that was when my, uh, you could see the redness in my face raising and raising grades. <laughs> But no, I've had a great year with this batch, fantastic. Um, is there a student you would want to invite on your summer vacation and why? A student I'd take on holiday with me, but of course I'd have to ask my wife first. <laughs> but perhaps for pure comedy value, it might be Seven or Howard. <laughs> it might be. I might even ask Ravine himself, because you can obviously take care of all my check-ins, because you're very IT savvy. But I'll be honest with you, um, any one of you, if you're ever in Thailand, you keep in touch. And if you're ever near to Hua Hin, well, there's always a spare room and there's always a cup of tea for this batch. So I'd always welcome you to come on your summer vacations to come and visit me because I really am fond of this batch group. So no problem at all with that. Uh, could you describe the batch in one word? One word. Well, this is a tough one because in the assembly I had to use three. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go back to my classic, the bucket. <laughs> I'm going to go with the bucket. I'm sorry I always use that, but I would just say with the bucket, you've got dreams. This batch is full of aspiration and potential, and I'd just say keep dreaming big. Never limit yourselves. Go far, because I've never worked with such a good group of students who have got such talent and personality. So really think big and go as far as you possibly can. Do you have any advice for us? Advice for you? Dedication is important, but I think it's important that you will suffer setbacks. This batch has had recent setbacks. I think what you need to do is show that you respond, that you come out with your true colours, you work together, you help one another, and that you always do the right thing. I think if you always try and do the right thing, people will value that and they'll respect you for it. And I've always felt that this batch has been just exactly that. They've done the right things, and uh, I wish them the best of luck in the future. Thank you, sir. Just sir. one last question. Oh, wow. Where do you see us in the future? Where do I see you in the future? Well, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. I think, I'll be honest, I think if I looked at a world map, I think that there'll be students across every continent. I can see that there'll be students working in every sphere of industry. I can see that there'll be world leaders in this batch. I truly believe that. I think there's going to be people that you're going to be seeing on news reports, not for the wrong reasons. <laughs> not for the wrong reasons. But I think they're going to be making change and positive impact on the world. And there's going to be students that I feel that I'm going to be following and saying, I want to work like them. Because like I said always, this batch is full of talent, full of potential. And yeah, it's going to be exciting. And I feel very fortunate, and I always say this to, to my friends, that I've learned a lot from this batch, and you've taught me to never stop dreaming myself. And that's a real positive thing. So when I turn on CNN in a few years' time, I do expect to see some of your faces there. And yeah, the mayor is pointing to Ravine. Why not? Let's make America great again. Uh, Miss, could you tell us your best memory with the batch? Best memory will be after the January research results on March 8th, I believe, when Vishwan got his A. <laughs> because that means that my whole class of... Um, at that time, there were 14 students. Now, my day is a day. If our batch is a microorganism, what would it be and why? If our batch was a microorganism, and why? Probably, it's a very shampoo life because it can be genetically modified. You know, to produce. Great product like insulin, useful products uh, that in the future, if properly modified, that people will like rubbing patterns, for example, they want to find the great solutions to problems. Which student would you invite on your summer vacation? And why? Uh, I would invite maybe Ravi because I was I was teaching him the last two years. I know him very well and I can speak about any topic. If you had to choose between me and Pumera to run the house, who would it be? So, who's the best captain? Very difficult question. <laughs> so, 
ਸੋ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਦੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੀ ਕੰਮ ਸੋ ਆ ਡਵਾਨ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੀ ਕੰਮ ਵੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਡਾਂਸ ਹੈ ਟੈਲ ਅਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਯਰ ਬੈਸਟ ਮੈਮਰੀਜ਼ ਯੂ ਹੈਡ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਬੈਚ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਇਟਸ ਦ ਮੇਨਲੀ ਦ ਹਬਰ ਟ੍ਰਿਪ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਟ ਹਬਰ ਟ੍ਰਿਪ ਗੋਸ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਬਤਾਇਆ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਯਰ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਰੀਲ ਇੰਜੋਏ ਦੈਟ ਟ੍ਰਿਪ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟੀਮ ਮੈਮਰੀ If you had to choose between the library and the batch of 2017, who or what would you choose? Uh, so could you tell us your best memory with the batch? Uh, I have many memories with this batch. But uh, I think uh, the batch trip is the best memory with you all. Yes. Chasing people around uh, 2am to their rooms, including Mera. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the I mean, batch trip was the best memory with your batch. Uh, describe the batch in one word. <laughs> Amazing. Until Tuesday uh, for three days. Um, any advice for the future? Uh, make big dreams and ambitions and try to achieve them. If you could um, describe our batch as a chemical compound, what would it be and why? Uh, yeah, something... like nitroglycerin it's uh, naturally it's normal and in a but under certain condition under high pressure it can explode any time you never know <laughs> hi is hi, hi. <laughs> so uh miss uh, what's your best memory with the batch giving gave me uh, hours and hours of entertainment uh from the suhail uh so many people yeah but i think i just can't pinpoint to one uh is it just one student that you will invite on your summer when you should be and why again i can't i do i think i want a combination of the name <laughs> so uh integrity information that no one would know probably as the best book to or <laughs> appreciate the recommendations then manu chal for his uh, passion for uh, searching for the best places and going to all lengths to yeah, find the best things uh divya for probably making sure that we do everything <laughs> that we have planned um uh, ensuring that um yeah it will probably be a uh, competition and we rain probably just in case we get into trouble <laughs> so <laughs> so apologize so <laughs> to uh, apologize probably yeah so last year best memory with the batch now what yeah, i'm expecting <laughs> so then uh, guys so uh, you know that in the batch he was the main case at that time but anyhow he settled with me and he worked and he got a max in as level I was really happy about that, and um, and all the time he was having some marsh. I don't know what's the meaning of that. Hi. Good morning, Miss. Hi. Ah, we're gonna ask you a few questions, Miss. Is it right to be nervous? It is perfectly all right, Miss. Um, tell us your best memory with the batch. See, this is difficult. I think. Had I not had three children and been able to come on the trip, that would probably have been a really easy question to answer. But I have to give you two things. One has to be Viren's lovely thank yous at the end of every lesson for the entire year 10 and year 11, and possibly my year 13 historians every time when they were present. <laughs> All right. Um is there a student you would want to invite on your summer vacation and why? So summer vacation. I want to vacation over the summer. So my student of choice would be Sahan because I think he could plan every lesson I need to teach next year and I could have a real vacation. <laughs> uh describe the batch in one word. Eclectic. it's a good word <laughs> any advice for the future you have to enjoy it i look back at university and i thought that was the best time of my life and then look back at what happened afterwards and it was better and the next bit was possibly better still but i think it's about having your eyes open to opportunities 
if you put yourself out there, if you meet people, if you say yes to sensible things that you're asked if you'd like to do, <laughs> then you get much more enjoyment, much more experience, and it gives you a full, I don't know what to say really. I think that's it. It's about putting yourself in a position to take up opportunities. So don't say no, right. unless you know it's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> Uh, do you think we'll ever be able to make world history? To make world history? All of you? Mm -hmm. any, any of you? Yeah. One person could do it. I don't know, I always think, this is what gets me, when you teach you 10, and you teach about civil rights, and you see the difference that one woman can make, mm -hmm. that nine 15 year olds can make. Anyone can make world history, I'd like to see it. I'd like to come back in a few years and see the changes that some CIS student had made. Yeah, you could make world history, but make it a good history. <laughs> I know Shatu had some dark ideas, so maybe if we could keep him out of the history making, it would be a positive. <laughs>